My name is Max and I come from the UK. I came to Krakow in 2014 with my wife. She's from Krakow originally. We decided that we'd had enough of life in London and wanted to do something different. I really like Krakow because of all my visits here. Uh, so it was my suggestion to come, uh, which was surprising for a lot of people. I used to work in television in London for 15 years before I had enough of that industry and I retrained as an architect. And I went and spent one year in a practice in architecture and decided that architecture wasn't for me either. I didn't really know what to do with my life. You know, cycling had become a really big part of my life and I decided that that was what I wanted to do, that I wanted to create a business in cycling. Uh, we started a business here in 2014. It was a cycling business called Podia. We produced uh, clothing for cyclists uh, and we also organised uh, cycling holidays in the Tatra Mountains, the Pianini in Slovakia and Slovenia. We ran that for a few years until my daughter came along and we realised that Magda wouldn't have so much time to put into it, also had less time to cycle. Right now I run Yoke Workspace and Community. It's a flexible workspace. We started this space with a mission uh, and that was to, to be kind of an oasis for international people in, in Krakow. So those people that are just starting their life here, we try to you know, help them find their feet, help them find some friends and a community and a network to be a part of. I still cycle a lot, as much as I can anyway, what with uh, business and, and home life. I've got a three-year-old daughter and I tend to spend a lot of time in playgrounds these days. <laughs> I think I have a, as good a uh, recollection of where the playgrounds are in, the, in, in Krakow as I do of cycling roads. But you know, I also like to go to bars and cafes and um, I have a bit of a Saturday routine with my daughter is that we go alone to a cafe and we have orange juice and, and coffee for me and a croissant and then we go to a playground afterwards or a museum or depending on the weather. When I, when I first moved to Krakow, um, I was quite keen to avoid the expat community. Uh, I, I found a lot of friends through cycling, a lot of local people, uh, a lot of Polish people. And I think for the first three years I lived here, I was like, that was what I did. I, I was, they were taking me around, showing me, you know, where they come from. We were visiting all around Poland. I've seen a lot of Poland from the bike. And at some point, I think I did start to miss, I didn't miss home, but I just missed you know, the cultural similarities between people from the UK or from America. I think after a while, my group of Polish friends also probably found it tiring to have to explain every cultural joke, which I didn't understand. I started to go to some of the meetups like TEDx, Kazimierz. Uh, I started to go to Open Coffee, which is now um, an event that we hold here in Yoke. Not only did I then start integrating to the expat community, I now found a reason to actually want to help that community. We now run a, a few things here which, which we aim to help the people in that community. We run some, some pages which help to uh, promote events which are happening here in Krakow. Uh, and just generally I like now meeting the people which are coming here and, and imparting some of the knowledge that I have about the city. You know, when I married my wife Magda, she said to me, at some point we're going to live in Krakow. I'm not moving, I'm not moving to Krakow. So I was doing everything I could to put my roots in London. I've been here since 2014 and, uh, and I, still, I still love it. I still don't think about the UK, but I don't miss life in the UK. Some people ask me, would you ever move back to the UK? My first response would be, I don't think so. But then I said, oh, I was never gonna live in Krakow. So <laughs> I never say never now. <laughs>